Okay, we gotta order a battery for success for tomorrow. Oh, remember tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I forgot I forgot. No, we're not going to be here. Let's go. You got anything to say? No. Say so what? What'd you do? Tell them about what you're getting ready to do. Tell them about the cruise, man. Uh, are you excited? Yeah. What are you going to do on the cruise? Eat ice cream. Eat ice cream? They do have unlimited ice cream 24-7. Are you going to put anything on the ice cream? Crazy. m and M&M's. I like putting gummy bears on my ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's good. m and M's make it taste better. There you go. More chocolate. And oh, you can't get it wrong with more chocolate. I like the chocolate ice cream. This thing up here. Which one is that? Uh, set it upside down on the table and then lift the box up. Which one is the top? This is definitely the side. Ow, my finger. Good there you go. Oh, Robert. Oh. Boom. There you go. Wow. This is going to be a really cool build. I'm jealous of this case, too. I yeah, really kind of want it. Pull it it's made to hold up to like the 4090 and instead of plugging into the board sideways it comes down and the fans will actually point outward and it just sits on a expansion cable this is so very cool, cool. I yeah i love the back yeah see there's the slot for the Ouch. the graphics card you see it right there in front of the phone and then the cables Whoa. come up and they'll plug into the board into the pci express slot the worst case scenario on this is that we're going to need a hub for the fans and that just comes down to if our board naturally like natively supports that many fans that was a badass board mm -hmm. oh god yeah we got three fan connectors at the top right at the cpu oh it has Got a couple down here. Oh, dude, definitely hook up five fans right off the bat. That's the only one. All right, take it out. Oh, <laughs> did you get that on camera? Oh my god, I almost busted that. I just went. Does it come out? <laughs> Bam! Yeah. Yeah, we're always scared we're gonna break some of these, but we never do. Okay, so I'm gonna build a computer one day. It's gonna be a fishbowl computer. Uh, you can run computers in mineral oil. But I'm gonna put a pane of glass as a separation and fill it with water. That way I can put fish in the water and still have my computer and the mineral behind it. That way it looks like it's all just submerged in water and there's fish swimming around in the computer. It'd be really cool. Thank you. Let's come down. So there's where screwed it sits. In. We're just gonna gently hold it while uh, we we'll get a screw. Oh, we're just gonna clip. Dude, this is so advanced. <laughs> This has a little plastic clip, That's but cool. it's amazing. I've never seen that before. All right, so then we're gonna come over here. This little tab goes in this spot right here. And then again, 45 degrees and then down. And now the uh, pad is going to press against the chip and provide some thermal dissipation into the cooler. And with screws, always turn to the left first until you hear the click. That's it, finding its groove and then tighten. And don't over tighten. Never over tighten screws. That's right. Especially in iPhones. No. Whew. Long screw damage is horrible. Unboxing. That's beautiful. Let's slide this over so you nice can Oh yeah, we got the TM30 high performance thermal paste here. That's $800 right now. Uh, yeah, that, that is actually uh, that's quite expensive. Everything in this build is expensive. I, he might have went way over budget. I, I mean, I've just been buying the things he keeps telling me to buy. Oh man, look at that CPU, dude. That's a beefy CPU, dude. That looks awesome. So when handling a CPU, always pick up from the sides. We are gonna match up that little golden triangle here. So we're gonna take off our plastic here. We're gonna open up, find where that triangle is, match it and set it in, and then lock it down. You gotta loosen that first, right? Okay. 
Yeah, man. You're the expert, man. No, you're the what expert. Oh, God. Look at all those pins. If you damage a single pin, you're screwed. Let's hit the little arms on it. So in the past, AMD processors had pins that went down into it. And uh, every time you took the cooler off, you would just pull it straight out without unlatching it. And it would scratch and damage the pins. So now they've this switched is... to the Intel style. Really? Install the processor before removing the cover. Do not touch socket contacts. Save and replace cover if the processor is removed. Processor. Sounds easy. All right, so here we go. We're going to come in like this. Raise it up very gently. And set her down right there. And what's cool is, you know, you got your gold um, triangle there, but you also have these little pin guides too. So it's pretty much impossible to install this the wrong way, but sometimes people do. So before we press down, uh, what we want to do is keep some pressure on it. So we're going to come in, we're going to keep a little bit of pressure here and then latch it. So just keep a little bit of pressure down and then this should latch over and then we should crush this little guy down. It is a lot of force, but it has to make sure that all those contacts, those hundreds of contacts underneath it stay connected at all times. Don't want to lose connection. All right, and then we're just going to thermal paste it, set our power supply on. But we need to prep our power supply first. Or not power supply, cooler. Our cooler. Yeah. Wait. This one, as you remove these layers. And this is why I hold the screwdriver like this, because if I let go, I've, already, I've got it. I don't have to worry about dropping it. Because you do not want to drop a screwdriver into a board. Okay, so we'll be using this bottom plate. And all we do is just pop this on there. So whenever you're installing the cooler, and look at your orientation like that. So this is the way we want it. So this is where these two screws are going to go in. So then we need to look at it and we need to say, where this, where's this going to sit? This is where it sits on these, these pieces here, these little tiny guys, not this guy. But before that, we need to install these. So we set all these on there. It should fit. It's pretty tight. Flip it if it don't fit. Flip it. Ah, oh, nice. That's good. And these are the screws we're gonna use for this. So we're just gonna pop that on there. Let's turn to the left first, find our groove. There it went. Very good. Go to your corner. There it went. You can always hear that screw drop. And you never want to tighten your first screw down all the way. You want to come over to the diagonal of it as it starts to tighten so that this can position in the correct way. Otherwise, you're tightening it down. This screw won't ever really sit perfectly. And um, he's like, um, so when you clean them, do you, uh, do you also look for what's wrong with it? And I was like, yeah, tech bros, they could probably take a look and make sure there's nothing wrong with it uh, when they're cleaning it, you know, if, they're, if they're, it's visible. He goes, tech bros. I was like, yeah. He's like, do you think you could do it, but for cheaper? I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, I partner with Tech Bros. And he goes, but you could do it for cheaper, right? I was like, no, <laughs> I partner with Tech Bros. I, I, if you come in with your Xbox One wanting to get it clean, clean it. I'm going to send it back there to Tech Bros. I was like, once they get done cleaning it and everything, we can hook it up on my system and I'll help you look it over and uh, see how it works and he looked at he sat there for a second he goes okay bye and i was <laughs> like that was the weirdest damn phone call i've ever had man that is weird man. yeah i was like why was he trying to get me to undercut the who i partner with it was weird Probably. it was weird and he called me from an unanswerable phone call i i don't even know oh yeah don't even know who he was hmm. yeah weird weird phone call yeah i was like that was Matt trying to see if I was going to oh, steal yeah. some of his business. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I had somebody call for me. <laughs> On a $20 uh, Xbox oh, yeah. One uh, console cleaner. Yeah, we even yeah. stopped at Dollar General and got a burner phone just, just for the <laughs> yeah. call. That's right. We spent more on the call than <laughs> on we went on the repair. Did you went on the repair, yeah. Crazy. That's funny.
Like, get crazy adapters for everything. How much do I put? A P? Yeah, a P size. So, there's all kinds of techniques. You do P size. You can do a five, like on a dice. Do a little more. Just a little more. It's a tiny. There you go. That's good. That's good. About like that. You kind of just have to get a feel for how much you want. Keep that in the center. This is going to squish out. You don't have to worry about spreading it. Some people buy little spreaders and they'll like squish it across the board. You shouldn't do that because you'll get air bubbles in it. This is the best way to do it. Once that spreads from the center, there can't be an air bubble. So then we're going to pop this on and then the fans go on next. So we just set it down right on our pins. Is that going? Yep. Okay, I'll let you go first there. I'll just hold it in place while you work on it. Push harder. Just push harder when you're going left. There you go. So sometimes you need some force to get that to thread in. And that's it, and then he'll just tighten it up slowly. <laughs> so we want our air to go out the back. It's always better to do this outside of it because doing that while it's inside of the case is okay. very difficult. Very difficult. And we'll want the uh, text to be up. Because remember, this guy's gonna be, he's gonna want his stuff perfect. So we want to. Okay, well, I gotta move the pins. So we want to like like that. So we want to yeah. We want to reset this. So to reset these, pop them out and pop them back in. Pop it out like that. And then these are what I was talking about. All that rubber. That whole thing is rubber. No vibration with these. This is the cooler that I use. That's how it's so quiet over there. Okay. So if I want the text to be up and this way, even though. You can't see that. We're particular like this. We want that to be perfect. And then you just pop that in there like that. Put out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got Yeah, you. him explaining all this bullshit to me like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to care. You got to care. I've, I've cared so much about all the stuff I've built. In over Your the mom's got to care. <laughs> God. Okay, then we just pop that in there. Make sure it's nice and flush at the top. Close it in real quick. So it takes a little bit of pressure. Oh, he's gonna try to do both at the same time. Oh my god. I got yours. Yeah, okay. Let's get our hands in here together. Let me help you. I don't need to go. <laughs> Let's get our hands all over this damn thing. Okay. So yeah, see how flush. Nice and neat. This one's up a little hot. Put a little push. There we go. That's a nice block. And then we're just going to attach our main fans to the CPU fan system here. So, let's see. Let's go here. I mean, he's talking about needing plenty of USB ports. He's got... Yeah. Yeah. Like, 11. <laughs> and a micro Just USB. on the back? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, this is the coolest motherboard, man. Another problem you can have with a computer build is clearance with RAM. So, we we might get lucky here. We're, gonna, we're about to see. So, we're going to pop these suckers down. We're going to fill this up with some RAM. So you want to make sure one side's short, one side's longer. It should be this way. Let's see. So we got uh, the main text on that side. All right. So we're just going to pop it in. And look at that clearance. We're getting lucky here. So we're going to pop it in. There it is. That's it. And you do your That's other nice. one. Yeah, I'm going to do one. And then I'll do two. Yeah, we spin it around. Dude, this is going to be awesome. TDR5. I've never had DR5 before. Never? No, I'm not that lucky. I'm not that wealthy, man. One day. One day. One day. I've slowly upgraded my computer. I started with a Wii that I bought for $100, and then I traded that for a Dell 530. I upgraded it to where it is, like a gaming computer, then traded that for a gaming computer. Uh, actually, no, I sold it for $500. Then I traded it for a gaming computer on CyberPower PC, then I traded that, and I just kept trading and trading and trading, and then eventually just buying computers for like $800, upgrading them, and then selling that to like a friend or family member for a little discount, losing some money, downgrading hard drives, or, or uh, yeah, going back to a hard drive instead of M.2, and just all over the place until I finally landed on my main build, and I've stayed there with it. Until someone came in with a 3060 the other day, and I bought that. Tighten it up. I'll grab this. Oh, no, no, no. Here's the actual zip tie. Actual zip tie. Oh. 
And I got the clippers. Well, here, I'll let you use the top. We're just trying to keep the cables from getting inside the fans. And also for aesthetics, just to kind of look nice. Is it backwards? No. What's backwards? It, it's not, I promise. Maybe it is. Yeah, it looks backwards. Look, man, earlier it wasn't. <laughs> earlier I had to switch it around like that, I swear. Oh, okay. Boom. Nice and tight. Nice, knit it. We got our flush cuts. Yeah, flush cut it right there. Ta da, nice and neat. Nice. All right, so there's our IO. And then this, we just kind of like keep, I guess we'll have to like hold it up. Yeah. I usually don't like to install it with this fan installed because it's kind of hard to get it to go in there. Um, take the fan out if you all do. of these should be right. We it looks like it's all straight in line with each other. We got nine. This one's off a bit. So then we look at our board. Everything should be in the right spot. We got lucky with that too. Cool. Well, here it comes. There it is. And then we're gonna sit down for a second. And I'm just gonna guide it back to the back. I hope it fits under that little fan. And then see our guiding pin in the center? There you go. Look at that. Oh, a little off, a little off. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down, calm down. Set it on in there. It's this IO plate. There we go. Is that good? Yep. That looks good. That's it. Okay, and then we just need motherboard screws, which are probably in that little box right there. It should just go straight down. Like that. that, and then get the screw in. Yeah, it won't really find a good groove since it's such a weird angle trying to screw that in. That, I guess, would be the only downside of this case is that one little spot where the screw's a little full. All right, so that should hold that in pretty well. Man, that's cool. So, motherboard screws. What he's using here, you'll usually see a screw like this. This is an exterior case screw. This is a motherboard screw usually rounded and then also very flat on the underside and short because it goes into the standoffs where the motherboard sits and is elevated above the case by just a little bit. Now, if you want to know where your standoffs and screws should be, you look for a hole that has silver solder around it. And that means that it needs to be grounded. If you put a, this in here and you set it on a standoff or no standoff at all and you don't put the screw in, it can short against the case. So imagine the there's a lot of pressure from the weight of the graphics card and the, and the cooler, and it scratches off the paint here. Bam, that becomes a spot where it can short out your board. Um, also, if you over tighten, you can crack or you can uh, damage the actual board itself. And also, if you don't want to ground uh, the screw, let's say it's a spot where it, it, it doesn't have the pads, but there's still a hole and you want to add that standoff you have to put little tiny circular disc of cardboard there and then board down and then above that piece of cardboard and then screw and that's how you properly ground a board yeah. or install it there we go. we'll be pulling air through the front going back through the back there so that's not too bad and i'll just hook this up up top we should have connected this uh graphics card thing after connecting this fan to yeah? Yeah. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, sure. I'll go for it. Let me see. So this is just a fan connector. Do you want this one here? So it should just be like... Of course he does the easy one first. I was trying to do the hard one. And then I'll do this one over here. This is Tech Bros. How can I help? I'm checking on my switch. Okay. And what's the name? Uh, KES. Okay. Well, we'll 
we'll check our system real quick. Yeah, this one was blue screen of death. Okay. Yeah, that one's got a blue screen of death. Uh, we're still going to have to work on that one whenever I get back from vacation. I'm going on vacation tomorrow morning. I won't be back for a week. So you're probably looking at about a week and a half to two weeks. All right. Okay. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Cool. There you go. Ooh. This uh, driver, maybe? We don't really need that. But... Oh, it's got some stickers in there. Uh... Oh, some yeah, I bought the Aurora's. Bracket. Aurora's grams coming to Oh, yeah, we don't need the bracket. That's what you want to call it. Fancy bracket. Maybe we do need the bracket. I don't okay. know. Okay, that's a split. Some screws. I'm glad John Scott Matheny came and picked this shit up. Yeah. What? Because it's been here forever. Yes. Oh, that graphics card? Yeah. It's wonderful. Let's see. SATA, PCI, and CPU, I believe. You, do you have both of them? Nope, this is Cards here, I'd probably go straight up. Yeah, it's time to plug in a grips card. Look up. Okay, you gotta guide it back there. Just loosely holding it. You're in full control. And then kind of guide that. Okay, now it just needs pressure. Okay, so I'll push on this side and you push on this side. Okay, okay. straight down. <clears throat> A better click, <laughs> more audible would be nice. And, uh, it looks like it's in there. I'll expire. First time using one of these. It looks cool though. And you can't really press it down anymore. It should be clicked in. All right, now we get the graphics card plugged up. Tuck these wires back here and plug that fan back on. Get it back on there. Just put it on the bottom first and okay. then we'll flip the top. And line it up. Make sure she lines up real good. And I'll go under. Get a connector on here. Hold on. Let me push that back in. That slid out. Still not as tight as a normal build. This is actually pretty, pretty nice compared to a normal build. All right, then we're just gonna tuck these wires back here. Yeah. Get them out of the way a little bit. I'm just gonna tuck this one through the yeah. middle. Make that look kind of clean. Close it up. It's not too bad. Let's close it up. Let's get that top case on. Man, that's cool. Nice. There it is. Looking good. And then the back. Man, yeah, go around this thing. Go around this thing. Ooh, look at that. Mm. That's beautiful. I'm just gonna step out. I gotta use the restroom. That's a long build. can say they'll have a video of the people that built their computer building their computer other than this guy he's gonna be so tickled let's turn it around oh. i can't 
can't wait to see it turn on. It's hooked up. Everything's there. We're ready. Here we go. All right. Open the switch. And then find the power button. And then click the button. The button's over there. How do you break that? Oh, okay. Oh, the... What is, what is Ooh. What Very we? pretty. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, you smell it. Dang. You Whoa, smell that fresh thing. plastic. I don't smell nothing. Okay, it always takes a minute. Keep it a second. Oh, you crazy ass. Dude, we do this. Leave video. me alone. Oh, you're actually plugging it up, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought he had it it's easy it. to do. What's funny is we build a computer, they get home, and they're like, this thing don't work. I'm like, make sure your HDMI cable is actually plugged in the graphics card, please. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It might have to be restarted because it was trying to output it in a different way. Better. You'll have to hold the power button down the front. Here we go, one more time. So all you do is there switch it, is. it over to a 2.0 port instead of 3.0 port. The red light on the board? Yeah. So uh, this board has a TPM module. Eight. That's just what the new stuff has. So hopefully it doesn't make it more difficult on us to install. I'm trying not to force it to boot from the USB. It should find that USB by itself. Don't sit in it. Okay, there we go. There's literally two other chairs in it. BIOS right. has been reset. Please reconfigure your BIOS. Okay, and then we're gonna move to our sand disk. And hope that the Windows installation boots and finds the red right tube. Thank you. Just fresh the stuff.